Hi, I'm Pakta12 and today we play with this uh, glassy glitch and uh, this came out as a happy accident while I was uh, trying to rebuild this uh, Kensuke Koike technique and this is a randomly shuffled uh, uh, UV according with a, a grid uh, uh, dimension and uh, the question uh, I had while I was watching this was uh, how about 6x6 six six or even more uh, 64 by 64 so let's uh, let's build this from scratch and uh, what we need it's a constant chop so we have a constant chop and we go with uh, resolution 1024 and uh, a grid and let's go with six for now now let's build a UV using a ramp. Okay, and uh, this is uh, 32 mono, and uh, we use this resolution. Okay, now uh, with the flip, bottom left, and uh, reorder, we take the second input for the green and set this to 32 RG and now we have uh, the UV and uh, for 6x6 six six we have uh, 36 squares okay so uh, let's see where, where the center for each of the square is so here we use uh, fit and we go with uh, the grid and set this to nearest pixels okay now here we have uh, the center points we have 36 and how we random this we'll use a, a texture for indices so let's imagine we have uh, this uh, uh, bottom left square it's zero the uh, next one it's one two three four and so on okay and uh, for this we use a ramp and set this to 32 mono and for the resolution we go with one for y axis and for uh, x axis we go with the uh, grid square okay now here we have uh, 36 um, values for for uh, uh, each of the square okay how we random this out we we use uh, chops for this okay so okay and now with a sort chop we can go with uh, random and see what um, texture we have now okay and I would like to change those squares according with uh, with this random okay and uh, for this we use remap but first let's uh, go with the point repack and uh, repack this texture into uh, a different resolution as a grid square by one okay now we can use remap and actually it's like this okay and we go uh, nearest pixels okay now we have here uh, the center points for each rectangle uh, uh, in a random uh, distribution okay and let's use again a uh, point repack to have this uh, as a square texture and we go with the resolution grid by grid okay now imagine you open an umbrella from each of those uh, points and the umbrella is big enough and uh, uh, to to fill the gaps in between and also it's square not round so uh, how we do this let's go with the transform here and we use uh, for the scale we use one divided by uh, grid okay and pivot is zero 
and in second tab we go with uh, repeat and uh, obviously each of the squares now has a, a wrong center so let's uh, fix this with the mod and if we subtract uh, 0 0.5 with minus okay now we good and uh, the distance from the left of the cell to the right of the cell so uh, from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 it's quite big so we need that distance to be uh, as long as a, a single cell and so here in multiply we multiply with one divided by the grid okay and now now let's add those two so add okay and we go here with the nearest pixels okay let me let me check if uh, we are good okay so yeah it seems uh, a bit strange yeah the in the transform the pivot has to be zero also for the y so now we we get this and uh, let's use let's use a remap with uh, whatever image uh, we have and uh, i'll take uh, my uh, camera okay so i use a select here okay and bring the my camera okay now if we uh, remap like this one thing maybe you will use an, uh, a different image so yeah it's better to use a fit here and make sure everything uh, it's uh, 32 rgb and uh, yeah the the resolution that we need okay so now now we have uh, 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 an image input cut into a uh, random pieces okay so we can go with uh, 32 by 32 so now we have 1000 of them and uh, yeah this was uh, the tutorial and um, I want to take this a little bit further and uh, uh, show you what if we change the random into increasing values then we have uh, the same input but if we go with decreasing values we have something strange okay and we we notice here the the uv it's uh, upside down so what if we use a flip here and we flip x and y and now now we good so now the output is quite similar with uh, with it that uh, uh, glass uh, bricks a uh, wall okay and uh, what i would like to show you is actually how we we make this to look even more like a, a glassy glassy wall and so we need to build a, a, a round surface above each of the cells okay and uh, let me show you how to build uh, how we're gonna build a, a sphere actually okay i have this uh, uh, here for for drawing drawing uh, a little sketch okay so let's imagine we have a cell like this okay and we have this center okay now i would like to have a different uh, texture here where uh, i'll have the the height for each of the, the the points so let's let's imagine we have a point p here okay and i need to uh, lift this point up till i know it will stay on a on a sphere okay so i'll have a sphere like this and uh, let me let me draw this line which would be the radius okay and uh, the from the center to the point p is the distance and here we have uh, the the uh, height okay and uh, 
we know the distance we know the radius i mean we can set the the, the radius okay and uh, this height it's equal with the uh, uh, square root of uh, radius square minus uh, distance square okay so how we we make uh, this uh, in a texture okay so uh, let me split the screen a little bit so we go with uh, we go like this okay and um, okay now let's let's see we have here okay we have here uh, the the values and we can use a mod okay we use a mod and go for the uh, length and we mask the alpha and this has to be uh, 32 mono now the we have the distance here but the distance is it's so small okay and uh, uh, we can uh, we can see it better if we use a limit with normalize okay now we have uh, yeah a circular uh, ramp okay that is the distance and uh, let's let's set uh, a constant okay we we go with a constant and i would like to have a, a kind of a radius okay but uh, the it's actually the radius multiplication as uh, yeah we we do like this so radius okay and let's set this to 0 0.625 okay so here i want to have uh, the radius um, enough to to fill the the square of a, of so for this i will go with uh, one one divided by uh, grid and i believe divided by two again okay and uh, this is the radius okay now here i said that we have the uh, distance but in our formula as uh, we see we don't need distance we need distance square and so this is good as uh, here we can uh, change this uh, length with uh, square add and root okay it's the same now but we can get rid of the root and right here it's d square okay okay now what we need is uh, make this uh, resolution not the resolution the radius make it uh, square so uh, I square it and then subtract those so we use a subtract okay let me move this uh, down here okay and right here we we have uh, what's uh, under the the uh, square okay so let's uh, let's go back and use a uh, mod and we go with the root now okay so this is uh, our height okay now again it's uh, quite dark so it's fully black we we can't see but if we put a limit here now we have those uh, spheres surface okay and uh, how about uh, going with the slope okay and uh, this slope takes uh, vertical luminance for green and uh, neutral for blue and it's uh, 32 rg and uh, also zero point is zero okay now let's have a null here i would like to have this in uh, in a folder okay like this okay now let's go inside because uh, we have something here 
so maybe it's like uh, like this and as I said as I, as I said uh, we have a, a radius multiplier okay so that would be uh, so we multiply this with uh, a radius okay now you know this uh, every time let me open this a little bit so now when we play with with the radius okay the the spheres get uh, bigger and bigger okay now let's see how this will affect uh, this output okay okay so we don't need this uh, null here so we add here and let's see now now okay let's play with let's play with this okay now yeah we we have these uh, black lines i believe it's from the remap i believe so let's go with in a remap and set this to repeat okay or mirror it's much better okay now i will split this uh, top to bottom as uh, i would like to go inside that uh, uh, folder we we created okay so we go here inside now also i would like to have this window not this one instead the parameters okay so let's go with uh, with a little bit uh, smaller grid like like this and uh, play with uh, with the values now so now if i play with uh, with the, the slope okay i can have a, a very similar uh, output with with something like uh, seeing through through a glass okay what if instead of having a perfect sphere okay we we uh, we can go here where we have the d square and instead of square and then add let's let's have length now what this does what this does let me put the radius to one it uh, it makes kind of a, a um, smooth corners yeah round smooth uh, smooth corners so uh, now if you play with uh, with slope you can see it you see and also uh, you can have uh, uh, here you can have uh, something else like uh, a maximum and now it's like uh, pyramids okay and uh, according with how big this slope is yeah you'll have a, a bigger uh, or a deeper reflection uh, like uh, okay so um, yeah this was my uh, tutorial I really hope you like this if so hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already or you can support me on patreon you will get access to this working file also to a bunch of other tutorials and uh, right after uh, this I'll record uh, my favorite uh, Kensuke Koike uh, artwork which is uh, a top breeder uh, yeah the dog that uh, becomes four dogs and and so on so uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, I would like to thanks to all my patrons and see you in the next one bye